Hey, I'm Star, and welcome to Readings, Scorpio. Scorpio, I was thinking about you, but I was thinking that maybe there's an impatience, that there's a, a little bit of, um, a little bit of crankiness, or a hello, do you want to get your butt off camera? Boy, sorry. Um, a little bit, speaking of crankiness, <laughs> maybe it was me. <laughs> Okay, Scorpio, that's what I'm feeling is possibility that you might be feeling a little bit touchy, but we're going to pick a, uh, a Moonology Oracle card for you. These are by Yasmin Boland, and let's see what Spirit has picked for you. The energy is gaining momentum. It is a waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum, and this could be why I'm kind of picking up that there's this, I do believe I have the vapors kind of thing. So the waxing moon, it would be, I guess, in special moons on page uh, 98. So let's go there. Scorp. Scorp. The energy is gaining momentum. Let me grab my magic wand and let's see what it says. Well, my magic wand. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. Though, it will take some time and you're not quite there. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. And emotions are building too. Maybe I'm just feeling a little bit off. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating or focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous... I know, move your bum! <laughs> the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are more certainly on the right track. So some additional meanings for this card... The situation is full of potential. All right. Um, while I was reading, I just had a, uh, a flash. <laughs> Somebody just looking for a SIM card for a new phone. <laughs> Somebody downloading onto a SIM card. I immediately picked that up. I don't know why I got a new phone. Okay. All right. The situation is full of potential. Your dream can come true. More effort is yet required. Are you willing to give it and review your goals and ensure you're still committed? And keep moving forward. Okay, Scorpio, we're going to go. We're going to go. There's a deck. There's the box. Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to go to the Crystal Visions Tarot. And these are by Jennifer Glossal. Crystal Visions. And we're going to find out what spirit has to say. Scorpion. Okay, so I'm, <clears throat> I don't know if you just got a new phone, my darling. If you're putting a new SIM card in there. I don't know if they work that way anymore. I think everything is downloaded. Um, <clears throat> or uploaded. Um, also, there was something else and it, it just fled my mind, of course. There's something else that just fled my mind. So, all right. Wasn't meant to be spoken of. Okay, so, Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's go. Let's go, darling. <laughs> all right, Scorpio. Let spirit speak. Let's go. Spirit speak. Square. We have the four cups in the reverse. I really don't know what you want, buddy. Three times you've been up here now. With the four of cups in the reverse, this is I cannot refuse a cup. This means I still want that cup. I still want to get involved. I still want to partake of that cup. We have the page of wands in the reverse. We've got things coming out during the verse. 
The Page of Wands come out here in the reverse. So the Four of Cups, Page of Wands. I have very little passion about refusing a cup. The Five of Wands reversed and Temperance. Five of Wands reversed, I got no fight left in me. You've either come to realization about something, Scorpio, well, you just decided to drop the matter altogether, or you just decided, listen, this is not worth my chi. This is not worth me losing sleep or whatever, you know. With the temperance card, I'm staying on course. I got my eyes on the prize. And there's the strength card. I'm staying on course, and most Scorpios I know have been very, very strong, and always will be, no matter what seems to be thrown at them. But let's continue on. The Six of Cups coming out here and the Six of Pentacles. And the Magician. One more. The Two of Wands. Oi, oi, oi. The Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. This is someone that you have history with from the past. Friend, a love. It's, it's somebody that you... Uh, there's still a candle in the window, all right? So if, if I got mad at a very dear friend or... <clears throat> if I got mad at a family member, and I'm talking like really, really mad, we don't talk anymore, but I have very little passion to refuse that cup, which means that letting go of grievances and not holding a grudge, that there's still a candle in the window if you want to come by, that kind of thing. Um, not really openly expressing it, but with the intent. So this is kind of what I have here. The Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles equal give and take. And someone from the past wanting to come and talk to you about something. And this is, um, oh, I got no more grudge. You know, I got no grudges. You want to come and talk? Come and talk. With the Magi coming out here. I think you've been manifesting something here, Scorpio. But I really don't think it's someone from the past. I know someone from the past is here, but I really don't think that you've been manifesting them. Because why? Because of the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands, or the Page of Wands in the reverse. It's like, well, I just let it be. Whatever, whatever. They want to come back, they can come back, I'll talk to them. So I don't think you're manifesting that. If you were manifesting it, you'd be like, oh, I want them to come back. Uh, you know, and waiting. But it just seems like you just let the whole matter go. It's one of the things that I kind of marveled uh, about a Scorpio was either they hang on too tight to something or they can just absolutely just toss it away. What will be, will be. Oh, well, okay, sarah, sarah. Yeah. The two of wands are standing at the crossroads here, but with the Magi. With the Magi and the Two of Wands, standing at the crossroads with the Magi. Well, that can only mean that, well, I'm thinking of better things. But what are these things that you're thinking about? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Well, there's justice here. Knight of Swords. The Devil. Well, the star in the reverse. Yikes. The chariot in the reverse. Well, ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming, Scott. And I think it's because they, they ought to think that you're done. So, what is this magician? And what is this standing at the crossroads? What is this justice and, and the king of sorts? Or the Knight of Swords. Thought. Give me a moment. Wanting justice of thought. What are you thinking? You're thinking like the devil here. But this this is really unusual. This is very, very unusual. Because... I really have here, like, I don't care. 
is what I'm picking up. And what spirit is telling me. I don't care. Is this a Scorpio who's saying, ah, whatever. I don't care. Somebody comes back and starts talking to you, and you're almost like, oh, I'll talk to them if they want to talk to me. They're like, I don't care. But wait. Are you sure you don't care? I think you've been doing very, very well. But I think bringing things up sometimes can cause more harm than they cause good. Let's put it this way. If you're speaking to a therapist, and the therapist wants to regress into your childhood, and your childhood has been just absolutely horrifying, <clears throat> throughout your adult life you have learned to bury it, and you carry on life very well. And then you go see your therapist, and they say, okay, we're going to dig into your past life as a child. The fear, the walls up, the building the walls and the fear and the, <clears throat> other things, what other things, the things that come with all of a sudden unburying shit, you know, the insecurities, the, the, the crying, the, the, just the absolute fearfulness of having to do such a thing. I really admire people who can, especially for those who have been sexually abused. I, I could never. And this is kind of what I'm picking up here, is that, did you bury it, Scorp? Did, did you just bury it and, and go on and swallowed it down and said, okay, we're done. There's uh, whatever it is that happened and there's nothing I can do about it and I really just don't give a crap anymore and you continued on your merry way or as merry as you thought you were not realizing that the subconscious might have been holding all that shit for a long time. And then the Six of Cups and Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups is someone from the past wants to come and talk what are they going to talk about? What are they going to talk about? The bullshit that the subconscious has been holding. I mean, they come back. Okay, oh, well, you know when I left you? And phew, it all starts to come back. Yeah, I remember when you left me. But that's okay. I got over that. Oh, you remember when I cheated on you? Oh, phew. Yeah, I do remember that. And then the tail starts to come up, right? And so... With the Justice and the Knight of Swords and the Devil and the Two of Wands and the Magi, I'm going to put them all together here because then I have the Star and the Chariot in the reverse. <laughs> I just really think that, uh, Scorp, I think all the things that you've been running away from, darling, <clears throat> about a certain somebody or somebody's, um, and the energy is uh, gaining momentum. There is no doubt in my mind that the energy is gaining momentum. I really do feel that when somebody comes back, it brings it all back. And though you felt, eh, who cares? I don't care. You know, I'm over it. I think you're probably going to find out that you weren't. And then, you know... What happens? Well, we either fall down crying in hysterics or some of us just totally freak out and are uncontrollable. And some are just cursing and swearing and totally let go and, and threatening. I don't know. But all I know is whoever's coming towards you brings the devil. And the devil is the, well, this... Thing. It's kind of like a codependency that you didn't realize you had. And it isn't a codependency. It's something that you've just been hiding and pushing back and, and not letting it resurface and, and carrying on with life. Spirit.
<laughs> Maybe it's, I don't know if it's kind of necessary or what it is, but it, Maybe a release of emotion. I'm not telling you to lose your mind and start smashing the windows out of the place. But maybe a release of emotion might be something that is necessary. Because of possibility here that you could have just been eating it up as it was dished to you. You know, like, okay, I cheated on you. Here, okay, I'm leaving you. Here, I'm and eating it up and, and not freaking saying nothing. But what I got here with the two of swords, I can't make a decision. I keep looking back. I can't make this decision. And now I'm looking back. What are you looking back at? This person who wants to come and talk to you. Who starts talking to you. Talking. And now you're looking back. This is remembering. And the two of cups, this is a, this is a, this is a soulmate of some sort. Yes, indeed. But the Eight of Cups, i, I got to walk away from this. And so if they left you, I, I really do feel that there's some sort of like a circular thing happening here where you now it, it changes. Where they now come back to see you and then you change it and you walk away, even though this is a very strong soulmate. And with the Fool coming out here in the reverse, there is no leap. Now, there's, I'm going to have to say that there is a lesson here, and the lesson to be learned is that um, even though when you feel that you're fine, that you can be triggered to tell you that you're not fine. But I really do see that you will be triggered here. But it's kind of for a just cause. It's kind of for a just cause that it needs to be. So... I, God love you, darling. I don't know who I'm reading here. It's a hell of a reading. I sure would love to be there. So, the energy is gaining momentum. Oh, yes, indeed you do. It certainly is. So, we have an Aries here. We have a Capricorn. Cancer. There's an Aquarius. There's a Libra. Gemini. Leo is here in Virgo. Um, 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 okay. All signs are on the board. But these are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Scorpio. Alright. Holy crap. All right, let me know if this comes to pass. You know, this is a hell of an interesting reading. But it's it, there is a reason for this coming around again and I do see that you will walk away but it's almost like it's some sort of therapy or something for you where you'll be able to turn the tables or something like that I don't know I don't know what I was reading there but I hope you understood something out of it I want to thank you for joining me today if you like the way I read please like share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button reach back hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you know the next time that spirit and i are in the room to speak with you namaste scarf namaste